Hi, this is my uh, weekly video for loan officers and lenders. Um, I want to share an article about, um, despite the rising mortgage interest rates, how um, interest rates are actually negative if adjusted for, adjusted for inflation. And what does that mean? So first and foremost, um, I know there's a lot of um, sticker shock when it comes to, not just sticker shock, but um, interest rate shock when somebody who was thinking about buying at the end of 2021 saw the interest rates hovering over 3%, um, and now all of a sudden rates have shot up over 5%, right? So that, that, that I, I wanna acknowledge that that's definitely true and happening, but at the same time, um, it's an opportunity for loan officers to educate consumers on um, the nature of interest rates and that right now being an extremely high inflationary period, um, that actually a mortgage adjusted for inflation, if we actually adjust the mortgage interest rate for inflation, the mortgage interest rate is still at a historical low compared to the 1990s, 1980s, 1990s, um, where interest rates were much, much higher, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13% in the 80s. And not just that, but considering inflation, um, the interest rate is actually still hovering around like lower than it was in 2021 because inflation wasn't this high. So let me just share an article. They do probably a better job explaining it. Um, but this is an article um, by the American Enterprise Institute Housing Center. And um, although obviously a higher interest rate um, means a higher payment, but um, it... If we consider inflation also our after-tax gains from the house, um, it the, the, the value of the house is still going to appreciate and offset and help a borrower still gain equity during this inflationary period. And it's a great way to diversify our portfolio when tech stocks and other stocks are falling, right? So it's a, it's a method of diversification. It's also a method to obviously get out of paying rent and actually build equity despite the current interest rates that people may be scared by. So I just wanted to say this. Um, it talks about sophisticated buyers won't be worried about the 5% interest rates. Sophisticated buyers may not be worrying about affordability either, which is a huge issue for the average American, right? Um, they say sophisticated buyers won't be worried about mortgage rates of over 5% um, and much lower than that after tax when inflation is much higher and homes are still appreciating so fast. So I just want to bring this up because this is a point you can talk to borrowers about. If adjusted for inflation, the interest rate rise is actually slower than the inflationary rise and actually owning a home protects your overall portfolio of investments if you if, if a borrower has any investments, right? I'm not saying everybody has investments. Um, sometimes Younger borrowers and average, the average American who's a younger borrower may not have an entire investment portfolio, but it's still a great investment to make in inflationary times. Um, I wanted to say so. Mortgage rates that inc that exceed increases in what families pay for groceries, shelter, and transportation have been the fact um, of life for a decade. Okay. Um, from the beginning of the 1990s, so this is interesting. From the beginning of the 1990s to end of last year, the home. Um, the home loan rates has exceeded inflation by a median of 3.6 points. Recently, in December of 2020, new buyers were booking mortgage rates at under 3%. We know that, 2.7%. Um, and adjusted for inflation, that's around 1.4%. But suddenly, those numbers are reversed almost overnight. And that's what's causing shock, right? Um, exploded to 6 Inflation wax far faster, exploding 6 to 7% fold. Um, and so essentially, inflation has risen at double the pace of the mortgage rate, which makes the mortgage still a great investment in this market. So I would totally use that on people that like are fearful of what it means to buy at 5% versus 3%, right? Um, also, the, the price increase of homes in a lot of areas have, have um, not decreased, but have plateaued a little. So now is actually a great, still a great time to buy as long as the borrower can afford to buy. And I would no doubt be talking about this to borrowers um, because you're over the lifetime of, of owning a home, the borrower will gain equity 
right? How much equity we can do a calculation. We partner with Mortgage Coach. They do a great job in educating consumers. But over the next 20 to 30 years that they own that home, they're still going to gain a lot of equity. And um, this 5% interest rate, even though matters so, it feels so hard right now, um, as the price of housing increases, rent rates increase, um, the cost of living increases, imagine getting your mortgage locked in the rate locked in for 30 years. It's still a huge value, even if it's slightly higher now than it was six months ago, right? I would convey all that information. It's super important. Um, I wanna use this example. So take a family making 90,000 a year, 70,000 after taxes, which by the way, that's a low tax place. Um, and they got a 3.7 pre-COVID home loan in the late 2019. It's really costing them 2.9% after deducting interest on their tax return. The annual cash outlay on their 700,000 home loan is $20,300 or 1,700 per month. At the cost in 2019, the consumer price index was increasing an annual rate of 2%. Say their income was beating inflation by two points, so their paycheck swelled each year by 4%, which by the way, is not necessarily true for everybody. If the US had stayed in its former 2% trajectory for consumer prices, their inflation adjusted mortgage payment three years hence would have been 19130 almost one th almost 1600 a month that's the beauty of owning a home your pay rises while while the nut stays the same but essentially while the cost of living rises rent rates will rise you as an individual you as a consumer and you can convey this to bars will um will get a pay increase but their mortgage rate won't increase thereby making the value of what they earn greater and greater each month. And I think that is education that consumers need because it's hard to think about what your money is going to be worth in the future, right? But like if you have a $2,000 mortgage, which may seem a lot to a lot of people right now, but in 20 years from now, a $2,000 mortgage would be $2,000 while the while the rent in that area may have increased to 4,000. So imagine, so every penny earned by that consumer as their paycheck and their, and their ability to earn grows with more experience and time, their housing payment as a percentage of their income continues to be a way smaller part of their income. And that's why investing in home ownership is such an important thing to do, in my opinion, as young as possible because you want to secure stable housing and you want to focus on everything that secure housing brings, which is to grow your wealth, grow your potential and grow your opportunities in society and to use your home equity to fund other things in life, which may include other property. It may include, you know, going to grad school. It may include, you know, whatever your a person's dreams and aspirations are. So I think as loan officers, what really help obviously education, tip number one. Tip number two is a little education on macroeconomics for the consumer is really, really important. And then lastly, I would say like helping the consumer envision their future life as a homeowner. Like, what does it mean? Of course, there's maintenance and realities of owning a home, but there's also great value in owning a home. Like what we just talked about, as rent rate rises to 4,000, your housing payment will only be 2,000. And then imagine if you have a child and um, you they now wanna go to college, you have home equity, right? As well to borrow from if need be, you have the value in your home that's increased that will bring financial stability and future value to your future generation as well. Um, and so there's a lot of like, I think driving an image of the value of home ownership in someone's mind, like visually, right? If you created just by owning a home, an extra half a million um, of net worth over the next 20 years, what does that mean your, your life would look like, right? Um, what does that mean you can provide to your kids? It most likely means you could help them pay for their down payment or their college or whatever their endeavors are. It might mean you might have a fabulous retirement and travel to Europe, you know, whatever it is. Like, help the bar create a visualization with the value of owning a home. Of course, not hiding the realities of owning a home either. But I just share this because I do think it's really important to talk about 
the fear around interest rates rises as interest rates rise it's not just about the interest rate it's about the inflation adjusted interest rate over time and the macro economics of owning a home so i just want to share that for los who um you know, I have my MBA, so I, I took macroeconomics, so I understand this concept, and I understand the concept of the value of our money um, continuing to de decrease, so locking in a payment for a place that provides a stable um, location to lay your body is so important, and I say that because people are like, well, technology, you know, let's invest in technology, let's invest in XYZ. I agree. It's great to have a diversified portfolio, but the, at the end of the day, humans will always need a place to put their body, no matter how accelerated our technology gets. It doesn't matter how accelerated medical science becomes, no matter what humans will always need a physical place to retreat to. And that's why home ownership is so valuable because it provides that, that place, you know, that place to call home. So I hope this video is helpful to loan officers and lenders and um, and why talking about macroeconomics and understanding macroeconomics and inflation and um, inflation adjusted mortgage rates is so important. Um, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, please like, please share this with other people who may have fear around buying a house or who um, may not know how to address um, the interest rates in this inflationary period, please do share, like, subscribe, and comment below. If you have any questions, we'd love to, um, we'd like to use your questions to drive future content we produce. Thank you.